Bharti Mamani from Karnataka, a student of political science, studied in SP College in Pune. Adik Kadam, son of a farmer from Maharashtra, a state level volleyball player. Bharti and Adik traveled the valley during the late 90s when militancy was at its peak. They were on assignment doing a child-centric survey of the valley. What they witnessed disturbed and moved them. The vulnerability of the children left a deep impact on their minds. They finally made the decision to dedicate their lives to the children of Kashmir. This was the birth of Borderless World Foundation and the project basera e tabassum was launched in Kupwara the district most affected by the violence. The intense struggle during the founding years of the project took a heavy toll on Bharti's health, limiting her involvement in the project to a great deal. Adik, however, continued. He has been caught and beaten black and blue, locked up and threatened, all this a total of 17 times. Rubina lost her father to the violence in 2002. Formerly a militant himself, he surrendered to Indian Army. He wanted to live with his family. He started a small restaurant and a shop soon after. About six months later, one late night, militants stormed their house and shot him down. He was over there next door. I tried to stop him, but he didn't realize. Several militants had surrounded our house. They were armed. I knew something was wrong. They barged into our house. He was very angry to see them barge into our home. It is the same people with whom he had worked earlier. They had a heated argument. They killed him. They killed him right here. This hole was made by the same bullet that went through his chest. The gate opened and the gate was opened. Everyone was opened. बहुत सारे मिलिटेंट थे जब मम्मी बाहर निकली तो गोली चली मैं सोई थी उस वक्त मुझे नींद पड़ गई थी जब गोली चली हम खड़ा हो गए गोली चली और पर एक जब पहली गोली चली वो नहीं लगी जब तीसरी गोली चली तो वो कमरे में सीरे गए और मेरे चाची तो इन इधर आंख को लगी और इधर बाल में बंद हुए पीछे मेरी मम्मी उस वक्त बीच में गई थी मेरे चाचा ने आवाज़ सुनी गोली की उन्होंने सबों को कहा गोलियां चल रही है आप लोगों को सुनने नहीं दे रहा है लेकिन जब सारे आए उन्होंने कहा दरवाजा खोलो मेरी मम्मी बेहोश हो गई थी उसको लगा पापा जिंदा है और चाची मर गई लेकिन पापा इधर हाथ रखे थे वो कलमा पढ़ रहे थे कलमा खत्म करके वो उन्होंने किया मर गए I want to become a doctor. Are you a doctor? Yes. Are you a doctor? Yes. I want to give my parents a lot. I want to give my mother 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 a lot. Meet Inspector Rukaya Hashim. Rukaya is seven years old and hails from Dardpura. Dardpura is infamously called Village of Widows, about 30 kilometers north of Salkot, towards the border of India and Pakistan. Rukaya's father used to work as an informer for the Indian Army. He used to make frequent trips to Pakistan and pass information to Indian Army. Militants encountered him and blasted a hand grenade on him. He died on the spot. He was carrying a small baby, Rukaya's brother. 
he too got killed in the blast rukaya feels lost in her own village she is not sure exactly which one is her home her grandmother lives here alone at times relatives keep dropping in in the name of memory there is a single photograph of rukaya's parents hanging on the wall i guess we could call this her home In the Himalayan ranges near India Pakistan's conflicted border the state of Jammu and Kashmir has suffered the effects of armed conflict for over 2 decades this conflict has killed thousands of people and left over 100000 children orphaned the founders of borderless world foundation started working in the region since 1997 and eventually decided to focus on nurturing the most vulnerable victims of the conflict the girl children what started as one small home with four children in 2002 has now become a statewide project over 130 girls now live in four homes spending each day meaningfully engaged in a plethora of activities Education in all its forms has been the focus of Borderless World Foundation. Be it the annual winter education and cultural exchange tours started in 2008 or the special skills workshops held at home in Kashmir. Education continues even for our staff in the form of formal and informal workshops and sessions held at the Borderless World Foundation head office in the state capital Srinagar. BWF swung into action when the devastating floods hit Kashmir in September 2014. BWF brought 7 ambulances and over 20 doctors to Kashmir to give the much needed medical care. These ambulances now run for the state run emergency medical services. The newly launched Women's Development Center in Kupwara is an expression of BWF extending its care further than home. 
the expansion of the range of skills and scale of operations of the Women's Development Center is aimed at nurturing a steady stream of women entrepreneurs engaged in locally relevant occupations such as embroidery, designing, tailoring and making of sanitary napkins. Sunita is from Avura. Avura was a hotbed of militancy. Her father survived the peak of militancy but later lost his life to cancer. Her mother now lives with three of Sunita's siblings. Seven-year-old Abrad, nine-year-old Asrar and her sister Zamruta. Her eldest sister Hina works with Baserai Tabassum. Sunita came to Baserai Tabassum in 2007. Ishrat is from Kukrusa. Her father, Ghulam Mohiddin Rathir, was a militant. He was killed in 1995 at the hands of his so-called comrades. Since then, her mother Rafika Begum has brought her up along with her sister Jamila and brother Nisar. In the land that Ishrat's father has left behind, they grow vegetables. They also have a walnut tree. <laughs> Ishrat came to Basera at Tabassum in December 2007. In 2009, five Basera photographers won national awards in a photography contest organized by the National Council for Educational Research and Training. The infamous violence of Kashmir may have shattered many homes, but these girls are living vigorously, building beautiful lives. They are the future of Kashmir. They are the messengers of peace. <laughs> 